Hey guys, Lex here, back for some more Nino Kuni. Last time we saved the kids from Trippy's mom's stomach. <laughs> now we gotta do some questing. Let me see what quests I have. Ugh. Oh yeah, okay. I need to go to Golden Grove to grab a quest. And all this. We'll probably head over to Father Oak, so yeah, let's go. Uh, the map is this one. Oh man, it doesn't show. Uh, so it's been a while. Active, okay. Restore. Wait, do I not have kindness? Upsticks. Oh no, I probably should talk to these guys again. Some spring honor, booster shoots, and slumber knot. Alright, let me go back to them. To refresh, because it's been a while. Really, I don't think it's been a while. <laughs> Actually, it's been over a month. Uh, sorry to keep you waiting, we brought the ingredients for medicine. Teddy Ty! Now I feel it. And when I am, I'm not jumping in that river again. That's a promise. Well, I guess it was kind of a big moment. But maybe you should do it again. There's no danger in that one. Don't worry, here. This should make up for the trouble you're getting in. Okay, I already have them. Okay. Chocolate bonbons. Big splash. Hey. Just Lucians. Need one more for this one. Yeah, drop drop more items. Uh, I know I have to do a, a special attack, I think. Island of Tahiti. Okay. Arch piece of driftwood inside a cave somewhere in Tahiti. Okay, let me read that again. In a cave. Made of a fallen log. And I think it'll be nice as customers. I feel like find kindness though. I have to blind some wombats. Wishing wombats. Wishing wombats blinded. Let's do that first. Hell do I get kindness though? I'm gonna have to do that. The wombat. Come on! Swing! Now you're for it! Ah. 
Wait, I'm all over. Okay, here. That's a wishing well, man. Probably should have checked who had blind. No, that's not it. No one has blind. <laughs> oh my god. Did he razzle dazzle? Got one of them blinded. And I got it. But no, I have to kill it. <laughs> to talk to all of these. <laughs> oh no. Got a ship after you? We'll just watch out for sea monsters, alright? They will hide themselves under the waves, you see. You just don't know what you're up against until so it's, so it's too late. No, are you serious? Up to ten. Teach me if I'm dreaming, but are you human? We don't get many humans in this cave. Well, there's not a great deal to do here, but I hope you have a cracking time anyway. Ah, I see you've got familiars with you. You do give them the odd treat, don't you? Offer them their favorite, and they'll snap your claw off, and I'll help them grow stronger too. Just in case you're wondering, there's no treat I like more than a nice, juicy, dumb flounder. Uh-oh. Hey, listen to this. Heard there's this... an island far to the west, or hidden here, that's always covered with thick fog. None of us craps go anywhere near the place, of course. The monsters over there are savage. We'd be toast in no time. Is the tree... I wonder what's in the green treasure chest. I bet I could crack it open if I tried. What green treasure chest? Uh -ha. Stand back. Okay, I figured out how to get the other green chest. 
you just have to be very precise with the angle. Seeing you reminds me of those other humans who washed up here, ooh, a good while ago now. I heard them talking about how they found a cave jam-packed with creatures on another island. I'd have asked them where only they weren't capable of understanding the simplest claw gestures. Humans, eh? Eh, no offense. Hey, I'm offended. See, I told you, I had the biggest pincers. What are you talking about? They're bigger. Oh, and you were cracked. You joke, right? Funny, I like your tiny claws. Well, well, it's not every day we get a visit from a human. I mark this momentous occasion by giving you a bit of advice. Suppose you found a shield or two on your travels, have you? I'm told, don't ask by who, that if you equip your familiars with shields, there's a chance they'll block enemy attacks automatically. Get this. Shields that have a low defense rating might actually be better for automatic blocking. Worth bearing in mind, I'd tell say. What? Really? That's weird. Take this one. Biggest pinchers. Ah, oh, 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 this is just all cracking. Where's that tree? Oh, right there. Hey, look, there's something on the floor over here. Looks like that gentleman's diary. I reckon you're right, Ollie boy. Let's have a look now. Oh, knickers, it's soaking wet, man. Gee, it really is, huh? Look, you could still read it just about. I guess that should be okay. All right. Should hand it over. So I could complete the quest. The wishing well, I'm bad. And I need I need MP anyway. Is the ship faster now? Brad. Or is the turn radius better? Because I don't remember it was really bad. Are we higher level now? It's because of uh Oh. <laughs> We're under attack! Swing! Step aside! Four. 
Yeah, 44. Something. And something. Who has what moves? Tricks. Little Dazzle for blinding. Marvel you. Kinda wet. Be okay. Oh, what's a little jam between friends? Here. Something for your trouble, little thing. Fine frock. Note from an island. The main visiting if you're here is where the first person is placing his diary once again. See what this does. Asins. So f faster speed, I guess. Up sticks. Guess we're at the point where uh, we gotta go to other places to get our uh, <laughs> parts. Ninety. Oh, I have a lot of coins. Oh shit, I wasn't even reading that. <laughs> Hedy. Oh, I forgot I had it the rest of the year before, that's why. Oh yeah, I see a travel now. Uh, let's have money before I die again. Let's buy some stuff. have one. I don't have one of these or these. Let me buy one of these because it's an ingredient. No. I might have one of these because I don't have one. Pressing start, even though most of the games- oh, actually, Dragon's Dogma is the reason I'm pressing start. It's Persona 5, start to save, and all that. Uh, where is it? Oh, I got a... What was gonna do? Oh yeah, the new... armor. Fine frock. I don't need him to tank, because I... Strongo I never directly control. Probably better to have slightly stronger defense. What the hell is this? It's way better. <laughs>
wishing on that. Oh shit. Wishing on that. No slacking you lot. Swing! Now you're for it. Oh, okay, I guess it works. Cloudy's metamorphophobal. Oh yeah, I need to go to Golden Grove. Uh, maybe there's a dude there. <laughs> right here. Got the slapsticks back for you, Mr. Fairy. You did as well. You did, little little beauty. Thank Flipmon. You're welcome. Don't lose it again, will you? <laughs> yeah, mom. Good old slapsticks. I love these things. I think it's you think about them classic lines, ain't it? Why I oughta, you plonker roadie. Take that, you big diff. And that. And that. Okay, uh, you're starting to scare me now. Haha, <laughs> I'm sure you're going to make lots of people laugh. Good luck with your comedy career. Here, I better give you a reward, ain't it? The autograph should do it right. Ah, oh, no thanks. Oh, greedy, is it? Put a little personal message thrown in as well, do you? No, we're, we're fine. Mm. Mm. Alright, alright, don't give me that look here. Ooh, riot spear. Comedy of errors. Indeedy. <laughs> a fairy indeed is back and after misplacing some of the slaps he borrowed from a friend. Bonus, please. No, are you serious? <laughs> Spear. Yeah. Damn. Well, it's not that much, but it's still... Oh, but it's not win anymore. Oh, 
need to find some friendly uh, people. Grab the green treasure chest and Yeah. Holy shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Yeah, people are still fighting. Oh, it's dark here, so I should fight. Captain Zombo, that's what I need. We can do this. Swing. Allow me. Get a load of this. Captain, Captain Room? Oh, green great. No zombo. Oh well. Nice work. Can we get our money back? Well, we did get our money back. Nice. Shot. Using that poisons. Those are rot. Skill. Oh wait, you have to press X. Okay, healing. Oh, it's 
grab this guy. Dom Boat Swing. Come on! He's staying to swing. Try rod shot then. Ready? Ready? <laughs> no one's a does that. Juke everyone, and I'll just cut to the island. Juked. So, to get the green chest, I need to be exactly in front of it, and then, yeah. Stand and back. I could shoot. That's what I've read online. So, Pebble Pelt. I don't know how to use that stuff, though. I didn't. I forgot to look that up. <laughs> or actually, I did. I just forgot what it said. There's nothing new at Ding Dong Dell. I did rest since it would only cost 10 guilders. And I bought two giant's tooth 
Which is in case I needed the ingredients. Or something, I don't know. Hello, old father oak. Oh, oh, here you are again. How very nice to see you. And how goes your journey, hmm? Tell me about it. Oh, oh, oh. So you turned to the place of your birth at last, Rippy. Did your friends have a you to drag you there, I wonder? Mr. Trippy's mom is as big as a mountain. Why, she's even bigger than you, old father, Oak. I've told you already, shut up about my flipping mom. I'm a battle-hardened warrior, not some mummy's boy. Got it. Sure, I'm sorry. I guess we have to try and be strong, or we'll never be Chitar, right? Do not place too much importance on strength, Oliver. Though your path may lead to conflict, you travel in the name of friendship and love. You must be kind to all those you meet on your journey. You never know how they might be able to help you. Above all, you must be kind to your companions. As long as they are beside you, no obstacle insurmountable. Very well, old father oak. A handsome reply as ever. Now let me offer you some help of my own. Medal of Dexterity. Thank you very much, old father oak. Be sure to keep on trying my hardest. You are a brave boy and honest. Never lose your purity of heart. Okay, let's check. Purity just probably... There's smells. Yeah, metal string is useless on him, to be honest. Holy shit! <laughs> uh, metal great in honor, great warrior. Damn, that increases attack speed too. Really good metal. <laughs> attack, accuracy, and speed. Who needs it? Nobody could, nobody could use the strength now, anyway. Oop. Let's go to Golden Grove. Anyway, I'm going through north, around this way to get to Golden Grove. Because it's near the other entrance. your chances, do you? Swing! Allow me! Uh, hopefully I could aim this better. Star drop? Seriously? Or do I need one of these? Each head. I probably should feed people stuff. Here's a little chocolate. Yeah. 
Holy shit. These things are good. What the hell? I'll keep I'll save one. This is an ingredient. At least get you all the way to the attack. No. <laughs> This way. I can heal. Okay. Come on, you guys. I just need to heal. Step aside. Of them. I think the exact same. 46, 43. Way worse. <laughs> How do I release? Get a load of this! 
This is a runaway situation. Uh-oh! <laughs> Time to beat a hasty okay. retreat! up here. Been good. That's uh evolution of uh Yeah. Two Lamar and Leaplo <laughs> forgot their name. Oh shit. Time to dodge. Oh. Go this way. To take the wide round, but I'm getting into battle. Ooh, there's an icy place, too. Oh, it's getting dark. Gonna be Captain Zombo soon. <gasps> okay, this Let's looks go. uh, this looks like a runaway situation. <laughs> This looks no. like a oh no. This is looks this looks bad. Come on. <laughs> okay. Going this way was a bad idea. That's why the little their eyes are red. Because <laughs> they're really strong. I hope there's a way to get in here. <laughs> that would be really bad if there wasn't. Oh no, there's no sand. <laughs> well, that, that's a situation. Oh, I have to go back. Oh no, oh no. Let's do it! Go through Alma Moon.
shit. Here we go. Swing. Now you Oliver. Here goes nothing. Here goes. Ready? Ready. We were just leaving. No! Oh. Esther, leave it to me. Are you serious? Serious. Time to beat a hasty retreat. out of here <laughs> I see sand is that good sand oh they got wide eyes now I think we're safe <laughs> we're safe sand here for some reason We're back. We're back to zone. We're safe. Stopped by Castaway Cove. Now I'm on moon. There wasn't th anything new there. Except I bought us some items that I didn't have before. Right, the guy should be right here. Oh. Ah. What the forest just been sorted, man. Ah. How's that then? Hey, how's that? Calm down, man. Will ya? What? Trippy boy, is that you? Why did you come back by here then? Just now, man. Holy boy here lifted the curse Shadar put on me and it... What? That little human by here? Or is it human? Say again. Looks gonna be deceiving, is it? Anyway, trippy boy. I'm glad you're here. I need your help, I do. Why? What have you done now? I ain't done nothing, man. It's the forest in it. Being terrorized, it is. I ain't been peaceful five minutes and now these blinking hyperbores have come along pinching all our flippin' mushrooms. But there are heaps of mushrooms in Golden Grove and the tree can let them have some. What? No way, man. Those monsters have got an insatiable appetite. They'll eat every fungus in the forest if we don't stop them. Hmm. Sounds like a proper pickle, that does. What do you reckon, Ollie boy? Shall we go and sort them out? Sure. Or is in the bushes? Some hyperbores have moved into Golden Grove, making life very difficult for the fairies who have to live. What the hell? Six stamps? <laughs> Alright, we'll get rid of those monsters somehow. What tidy? Erm, um, you know, they're proper nasty, don't you? Don't worry, Mon Mom. Ollie Boy will be fine. You'll have the Lord High Lord of the Fairies with him, won't he? Hippie Mon, you're a hell of a brave cha boy. Bah. Now, I hear there's three of these hyperbores all together. We're counting on you, ain't it? Okay. Where are they at? One, two, three. Do you know what I could have done? I could have just... <laughs> I could have just uh, went through the front entrance and then walked back and then... <laughs> oh well. Let's, uh... Dave. And I'll look towards the fights. Let me see. Hyperbore 1. Damn, look at him. He looks cool. It's great. Snort. <laughs> Crashing board and hyper. Chances, do you? Right, let's uh, Step aside. steal from this hyperbore. <laughs> He isn't carrying anything. What this one? Get a load of this. Hey. I ain't carrying nothing. This is time to rot shot the hyperbore. 
your chances, do you? Here goes! Oh, booster attack. Oh, I should have done that uh, before I started attacking. Lucky spark. Just make sure everyone else. Creepy. I don't know what this is all about.
uh, dodge until I could get Mikey back up. This one was more difficult than I was expecting. I probably shouldn't be flanked like this. Why keep doing your back? I think we were just out of MP and all that. Yeah. Uh oh. This. Oh, this is another monster. Oh, Nickers, poor lad, don't stand a chance, Mon. Come on, Ollie boy, let's get rid of that horrible beastie. <laughs> He's so sad. Squirt! Rot. Squirt! <laughs> I should have talked to him first. Oh boy. Well, since we're fully healed, let's test out that. Oh. I go first. <laughs> We could be less aggressive with our MP. Just about, Mon, just about. That monster was hell of a frightening. That was a full boar, see? Much tougher than the other monsters they are. Well, don't worry, they're all gone now. What? I don't believe it. Ta, ah, boys, the forest is safe from once more. Well, yeah, it's a symbol of how grateful we all are, ain't it? When you hit. Nice. Boar in the bush. Some hyper boars have moved into the golden grove, making life very difficult for the fairies who left them.
me look who could wear that hat. We use his hat. Pointy hat. This aptly named hat is the first thing that comes to mind when one thinks of wizarding headwear. Going to Alma Moon, get that treasure or skill or whatever it's called. Alright, Jack o' Lantern. Helps you strike fear, causing them to drop more items. So. Uh, yeah, next time I'm getting Cheap Jack. And then experience. Alright, uh, I was able to get here without getting into combat, so uh, let's try uh, doing some wizard's companion stuff. <laughs> Keeping an eye on that guy, uh, <laughs> so he doesn't attack, like last time. Um, so uh, let's do our spells. That was the first one. Poison. Second, self. Create a foolproof doppelganger of yourself. You have no doubt wondered, as many wizards have, how much better life would be if you had another self to use, as you saw fit. Master the spell and you need wonder no more. Be aware, however, that manipulating a second self is extremely draining, and that even the most powerful wizards are incapable of doing it for a very long time. Vanish. Come invisible and disappear into the shadows. Using Vanish renders a wizard invisible to the eye. Furthermore, it also removes every trace of his presence, and even conceals the smell, making it utterly impossible for anyone to detect him. Mastering the spell is considered a first step towards wizarding excellence, though I could probably have used that while running away. <laughs> Maybe. Mimic. Perform uncanny impersonations upon demand. The wizard who casts the spell gains the ability to speak with any voice he desires. Man's, a woman's, a grandparents, even a baby's. It is an extremely useful piece of magic to be sure, but one famous for causing untold confusion, conflict, and regrettably a short war. Be careful when using your newfound vocal talents with an earshot of unsuspecting humans. Loaf of Life. Produce a fresh loaf of bread to ward off hunger. Hunger is a traveling wizard's greatest enemy. It affects one's physical strength as well as one's mental capacity and decision-making powers, often leading to life-threatening situations. Should you find yourself in such a desperate state, you always rely on the loaf of life. Just remember that this spell is only to be used in times of genuine crisis, not merely when you're feeling peckish. Open Mind there are a variety of reasons why humans decide to close their hearts and conceal their feelings. Should you wish to learn more about such people, this spell may be your only recourse. Mercifully, open mind does not wretch open people's hearts. Instead, it brings you closer to them, tunes you to their feelings, and lets you listen to their inner dialogue. Naturally, this can leave you rather in their thrall, so take care not to become trans in innermost thoughts. The wrong kind of person. I wonder if this works like in Golden Sun. No, nah, it would be so crazy, and I would have no MP. <laughs> Shift Shape. Change your appearance to become a perfect copy of another being. An extremely powerful spell that allows the caster to adopt all characteristics of another living thing. From the mannerisms of a wizard, to the flying ability of a winged beast. Getting out into the field and studying creatures in their natural habitats will increase the number of alternative forms you can adopt. Oh. Shrink. Reduce your body to a fraction of its size. Though rarely acknowledged, the size of a wizard's body can sometimes limit the options that are available to him. This spell makes the caster small enough to fit into someone's pocket, allowing one to slip in and out of mouse holes and explore the world of the miniature. Simply drawing the rune again reverses the spell's effect. A fact to remember in the presence of cats. Wear cat. Become a cat and experience life as a feline. This spell turns you into a cat, allowing you to converse freely with fellow felines everywhere. You could just talk to them using nature's tongue, of course, but they are more likely to speak from the heart when conversing with their own kind. In any case, fully immersing yourself in another mode of life is an invaluable experience for any wizard. Wear fish. Become a fish and discover the joys of life aquatic. 
The spell turns the caster into a fish and grants the ability to converse with other aquatic creatures. The difficulties of breathing underwater have meant that nature's tongue has never been a practical method of communicating with fish, making the spell your only real option if you wish to gain a deeper understanding of life beneath the water surface. Some claim that fish have a clearer view of the world than those who dwell on land. The clarity should not be confused with wisdom. <laughs> yeah. Poison apple. Conjure up an apple that drips with deadly venom. The apple produced by this spell will kill you when eaten, though it is only a temporary death. Not mm, the most powerful spell for understandable reasons, but young wizards would still do well to master it. You crave life, brave death would seem a questionable mantra, but there may yet be some shred of truth in it. That's weird. Alright, and one last thing. Tahiti. Tahiti, a small isolated land covered in a thick forest untouched by human hand. Not even the most adventurous of fishermen will who work nearby have dared enter the forest, and very few people know what secrets it contains. Fairy ground, hidden away inside the forest, is the village home of the fairies. The village is overlooked by a mountain that's so large that some of it's wrapped in cloud. Alright, uh, let me try. I use. Uh, What's the little spell again? Let me just do this. Can I use any of these spells? Well, still. Oh shit! Uh, whoops. Uh, whoops. Please take me back. Uh, <laughs> wait, I don't even have like the... Whatever. <laughs> Let's get back. Uh, <laughs> gateway, good thing it's zero. Anyway, uh, I'll end the episode here, and then next time we'll finally get to Automata. Thanks for watching, see ya, bye!